Well, good evening. It's actually morning where Jim and I are. We're taping this morning for the prayer meeting tonight. But we are so pleased that you've joined us tonight for our prayer meeting. It's going to look very similar to you. The music and the prayers are going to be the same, but there are some changes. And uh, we thought it would be nice if we actually scrolled across the screen for you continually throughout the whole service, the names of the people that are on our prayer wall. Um, you've been sending us emails and we, we appreciate that and the phone calls from the pastoral care committee and you've been giving us names so those names are all going to be scrolled across the screen today they're also on our prayer wall and uh, Jim has taken a picture and you've seen that we actually had 37 people added to the prayer wall in the last two weeks so as we continue this this morning I wanted to, I wanted to share with you some scripture and, and take it out of Psalms I think a great place to go Psalm 113 and it says from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And in Psalm 37, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. As we go through this service and you see those names scrolling across your screen, pray for those folks, will you? Continue to pray for each other. and We'll ask all this in God's name. I wanted to share a prayer with you. And it's a prayer for connection. It's actually taken from the web. And it says, Dear God, we're grateful that you never leave or forsake us. And we're grateful for the technology that helps us stay in touch with each other. Give us the strength to endure the difficult season and deepen our connection with you and your people. Today, help us remember that this time of social distancing and isolation will not last forever. Empower us with an extra dose of your love, peace, hope, and joy. And remind us of your promises. And please, heal our land. All in Jesus' precious name. Amen.
This is a prayer for hospital patients. Our Heavenly Father, we bring before you today many, many patients who are in hospital. We know that there are so many who are already in hospital with other medical issues and challenges that they have been facing. And we know that often hospitals are overcrowded and so busy with staff having to do so much. And in these days when uh, COVID-19 is in our communities and around our world, we know that the hospitals are just um, really going to be overrun in so many ways. And so we pray for the patients who are in the hospitals and for their families. We know that many of the patients will feel very lonely and will feel alone in that because we also know that um, visitation is restricted. And so people will be feeling very alone in that way. We also know that there are people who um, are in hospitals where perhaps they their first language is not English or they're in a, another country where the hospital and the languages are not what they know. And so that would be an extra thing that would be very difficult for them. And so we pray for them today. We pray for children who are in pediatric wards and for babies who are in the neonatal intensive care units and for their parents and their loved ones, uh, extended family, but particularly for the parents and for the children who are old enough to understand. And as they too are restricted in how many patient, uh, parents can be there um, for the patients, we pray that they would have a great understanding and somehow a peace within their own young hearts and minds. We pray also for those who are in the obstetrics uh, wards and having a baby normally is a, a happy occasion for so many people. Um, but in these days of uncertainty and fear, we know that that in so many ways um, can impact these new parents with brand new babies. And so we pray that you would protect them as well and that keep them safe. And as they start off on this journey of parenthood, or if it's uh, if they already have children, as they continue on and being parents and the um, extra fear that is there of parents uh, with children, young children in particular. Father, today we pray for all hospital patients and for their families. We pray that you would give them peace, a sense of hope, a sense of comfort and strength and faith. Um, we pray that for those who are Christians, that they may know and be reminded again that Jesus is with them no matter where they are and that um, their faith and their peace that passes all understanding would be a very evident in these days to those who are around them, other patients and staff as well. And so, Father, we pray that you would bring comfort and healing to all those who are dealing with COVID-19 in these days. And we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And amen.
Join me in prayer as we pray for our health care workers. Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time and pray for our health care workers. We know that there are many nurses and doctors, paramedics, ambulance drivers. There's just so many people that are involved in your health care. We think also of the technicians and those that do the testing that are not always visible. The people that work anywhere in our hospitals, in our long-term cares, all of those places are so important. And Father, we just pray that you'll be with the workers at this time. We think of them as they give all that they can, but we also think of their families as they watch their loved ones go off every day to work, knowing that they are being put in a predicament that really could involve their health as well. So we ask your protection around them. We ask that you keep them safe. And today we just want them to realize that they are being prayed for, that your love surrounds them all the time for the many that of the prayers that are going up. Thank you, Father, for your love and your care, not just for those that are visible, but for those, Father, that are working behind the scenes. Thank you for our workers, our healthcare workers, as they give everything that they've got at this time. Just keep them safe. In thy name we ask it. Amen and amen. These are uncertain times, and it would seem that those things that have been so familiar to us have been stripped from us. But we have a God of hope. We have a God of love that we can go to with our needs and our requests. 
and he is in control. No matter what is happening, God is in control. And at this particular time, I want to pray for those who are vulnerable. Will you pray with me? Lord, these are difficult and uncertain times in our world. And it's so easy for us to complain about the inconveniences of self-isolation, not having the treats that we have been so used to having at our fingertips, little or no social interaction, or the freedom to move about as we wish. Oh, forgive us, Lord. Today, I would pray for those who are vulnerable, vulnerable in so many ways. The choices for them daily are few. Surround them with your love and your protection. Protect those who are seniors, confined to nursing homes, or in their own homes, alone. Physically, they may not be well, and their immune systems may be weak to begin with. Comfort them and take away their fears. Protect them, Lord. Send someone to minister to them in some way, Lord. For those who are homeless, Lord, they can't go home. There is no home. They are dependent on others individuals and organizations to meet their needs. Their daily lives are filled with feeling alone and treated with disdain. They often are walking around with illnesses. Comfort them, Lord. May we continue to find creative ways to show our love and compassion for them and minister to them in new and creative ways. I pray for those who have contracted the virus, thousands of individuals all over the world, and they need to be distanced from family. Oh God, I would pray that your healing will occur in their weak bodies. I would pray for the healthcare workers, the nurses and doctors who with amazing dedication put themselves in vulnerable situations, caring for those who are ill. O oh Lord, protect them and protect their families. Give them the renewed strength that they require daily. Lord, through all this, I know you are in control. You are the God of hope and you do take care of us. You are with us, and your sheltering wings will protect us. Protect those struggling with the virus, those in hospitals, and the workers as they struggle to find all that they need to help. You are looking after us, Lord, we know that. Bring us through this with your light and hope, knowing that you will take away this terrible virus for I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
friends um, as we are entering in I think what week three of COVID-19 uh, the story of the days are blending together for me um, a lot of us have got a lot of concerns on our heads and on our hearts um, as we um, try to uh, manage through this time that's so uncertain and so unlike anything else we've been through um, I've been asked to think of those that are unemployed or maybe have reduced hours during this time. So let's take a moment and pray for those who are unemployed. Heavenly Father, we just come before you now. We ask you to be with our friends and our families and our community that have found themselves in a state of unemployment, that are relying on assistance through the government to meet their needs, their uh, rent, their mortgage, their food, um, Lord, we just ask to give them a sense of peace and a sense of calm that you are in control. And as you say in the Lord's Prayer, Lord, as we pray for our daily bread, you will give us what we need each day. So Lord, help us to focus on today. Help us to be thankful for the blessings that we have. And Lord, for our friends and our family and our neighbors that are unemployed that have been laid off let us be sensible sensitive to them and let us reach out to them with either a phone call or maybe it's a care package dropped off at their door for those that are struggling lord let us be a community of believers to all within our reach lord just continue to be with those that are facing uncertainty with employ unemployment that don't know if they will be laid off in the future in the coming days Lord, just give us that peace that we need, that you are in control. Lord, we just pray this all in Jesus' precious name. Amen.
Well, welcome to the prayer meeting. A little different, but uh, pray the Lord's blessing you wherever you are. The uh, Aaron, the Lord asked Aaron, the priest, to give this blessing to Israel, and I get this, give this blessing to you today and to all those we're going to be praying for. It says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. That's Numbers 6, uh, 24 to 26. I'm going to keep my eyes open as I pray. It makes it a little easier to concentrate and uh, for those that I'm going to pray for. Pray for the Prime Minister, Heavenly Father. Pray that you'll bless him. Continue to give him the strength and wisdom and guidance in leading us as a country through this time of unparalleled uh, quarantine and, and disruption. Bless him. Bless his wife, who's unwell. Keep her safe and bless his children as well. Give him guidance. Give his cabinet the wisdom they need, Father. We pray. And the frontline medical staff, and uh, we just pray that you will uh, help them to be protected as best they can. We pray you'll keep them strong, healthy. Bless their families, as it may be a very anxious time for them as well. May your peace that passes all understanding keep their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And Father, we think of the premiers across Canada, leaders across Canada. We just uh, pray that you'll be with them, that you will guide them during this time to be as wise as could be. Protect them, give them strength and health. And for factory workers, Father, we think of them who are getting our food to us and uh, uh, packers and foremans and getting it out to the transports. We thank you for the transport drivers. So the factory workers and the transport drivers protect them, uh, we pray, as they do their work. And we pray for the transport drivers, to, uh, give them uh, a steady drive, a safe drive across the highways of our nations and bless them as they bring that lifeline of food and medical supplies to each and every one of us. Father, bless all who are listening today. May, no, may we not be anxious, but may we be looking to the one who is in control, placing ourselves in his care day by day. Father, bless us. Make us a blessing this day and bless all those leaders. We think of our pastor, we think of KC, we think of uh, uh, Stephanie at Bayside. Bless them, guide them, keep them safe. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit,
Hello, Barry Citadel family. I'm uh, coming to you from my home today, much as I'm sure you are at the moment. I'm just coming to you to ask that you would join me in prayer today um, and praying specifically today for students and families. So uh, please join me in prayer. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for everything you're doing in this challenging time. Today, Lord, we lift up to you students and families. Um, Lord, I just ask that you would surround them with your presence, Lord. It's a challenging time to be confined for long, long periods of time, Lord. And uh, even when it's with the ones we love, Lord, sometimes that can be a challenge because uh, we can get on each other's nerves, Lord. And I just ask that you would give us extra patience with one another. I'd ask that you would just help us to uh, live for you, God, so that we can show love to those around us and uh, just give extra grace, Lord. This is a difficult time for everyone, Lord. Uh, so in those family relationships, Lord, I just ask that you would help us to live more like you because it's, it's hard, Lord. Father, I'd ask a special blessing, Lord, on our students at this time. Um, I know some may think that uh, this is just a vacation from school, Lord, but it's, uh, it really is an opportunity, Father. Um, we have the other things in our lives uh, pushed to the side for this time. And I just pray for our students, Lord, that they would take this opportunity to draw close to you. Um, there's space in our lives right now where we don't have a lot of other things going on, Lord. And I just ask that you would help each one of us to draw close to you in this time. But Lord, especially our students, Lord, because they just need you speaking into their lives, Lord, to help guide their decisions, to speak wisdom into their hearts, Lord. And Lord, they just need to hear from you, to know they're loved and accepted. So Lord, speak into the lives of our students, Lord, your word tells us that when we draw close to you, Lord, that you will draw close to us. So, Lord, I pray that our students would just have that desire in their heart at this time to draw close to you and that you would meet them there. Father God, there's so many just crazy challenges right now in the world, and it's easy for us to be focused on fear and anxiety, Lord. And, uh, and those things just get the best of us sometimes. So Lord, as families, as students, Lord, help us to work together, Lord. We know that, Lord, even when the disciples were in the boat, Father, and uh, they were experienced fishermen, and they thought they were going to drown because there was such a humongous storm going on, Lord. And, uh, and they, they woke you up sleeping in the back of the boat and you just spoke to the wind and the waves and just said silence be still and the waves were still lord you have authority over everything that happens in this world you have authority over this virus just the same way you had authority over the wind and the waves lord so i just ask lord that you would protect our families, protect our students, have authority over this virus, Lord, and bring your protection, Lord. Lord, just be with our students and families. Surround them in your presence, Father, because we know that in your presence there's peace. And your peace is holding us, Father. 
We ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for joining with me. Have a great rest of your day. Good day, everyone. I trust you're having a reasonable day considering all the events that are happening in our community and in the world as it relates to the virus COVID-19. As we focus on prayer today, I'm reminded that Jesus asked his followers to pray with him and we should without ceasing. We should not concern ourselves about how we pray. We must not concern ourselves about how elegantly we pray. We may not know the words to say in our prayers, but that does not matter because God knows our heart and our inner thoughts are in mind before we even speak them. God will receive our prayers no matter how they're expressed or said, because he knows we're expressing our prayers in love and in gratitude to him. 
I share my thoughts with you as I personally struggle what to express in my prayer and how to say it. So it is a way of reminding myself that God just wants me to speak with him simply. It is a privilege to pray today on behalf of us all to our Lord and Savior as we focus our prayer for his church and for the leaders that he has put in place to lead us at this particular time. On paper, I prepared this prayer for us, so I will read it. But spiritually speaking, my eyes are closed and my head is bowed before God. Please join me in prayer. Lord, it's me again. I approach you in love and especially thank you for your love for my brothers and sisters in Christ who join with me in prayer. Lord, you created this world and our hearts are heavy with the current events that are happening in the world. But we know you oversee all and that you tell us in your scriptures not to worry as we are all precious in your sight. So Father, we focus our prayer at this moment on your church of which you are the head and also the cornerstone of the church. We pray that we honor your church and the leaders that you have placed to oversee your church upon this earth. May we be ever mindful and faithful that you have asked us to take care of your creations on this earth. Heavenly Father, we collectively bring before you the leaders you have appointed to lead and guide your church through these times. Please grant the leaders additional wisdom and health to guide us, as we all want and desire to be your hands, feet, and voice to those that are troubled, scared, and worried during this difficult time, especially during COVID-19 crisis. We pray that all various denominations of expression of your church and their respective leaders pool your guidance for the church ministry to others. Lord, the Salvation Army, which is a branch of your church, expresses the thanks for the gift that has been given to reach out and serve and minister to others. We as members of the Salvation Army are very mindful of the leaders and leadership that you have placed to guide us in serving you as Christ would have us serve. We bring before you our international leaders General Brian Peddle, Commissioner Rosalie Peddle, the Territorial Leaders for Canada Bermuda, Commissioners Floyd and Tracy Tidd, the Divisional Leaders, all the Divisional Area Leaders, all Salvation Army Officers in their various aspects of ministry, and also all the Lay Officers. Lord, these leadership servants have family members, and we pray that you will protect the leaders and their family members with good health and strength. Father, for all the leaders from the general to the local officers and leaders, we realize that they will be faced with challenges, and we collectively pray that you, our Heavenly Father, will guide them in all aspects of their ministry and leadership. We pray and thank you for knowing that you will give them the sound decision-making process and provide them with the words to speak and the actions of ministry to be followed in your will. Lord, keep us individually, collectively aware that we have a ministry given by you to serve and help our leaders at this time. Help us to always be mindful of our individual given tithes and talents of opportunity to serve, be it monetary and or with spiritual gifts and talents. We realize for the leadership to lead that they will need us to do our part to assist in following through as you, Lord, so direct them and us. Lord, help us to always be mindful to pray for the leadership that you have placed to help lead your church at this time. Heavenly Father, we bring before you our core officer, Pastor Captain Andrew Watkinson. We request that you continue to grant him good health and wisdom to provide us leadership as our spiritual leader here in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Lord, may the captain feel and know in his heart and mind that as he leads us through the difficult times that you, Lord, are his wisdom, strength, 
and that we also pray for him and support him as much as humanly possible. Lord, we also pray for wisdom for Captain Stephanie Watkinson and their son William with the day-to-day -day challenges that they face serving you. And for the three of them, we pray that you provide them with needed rest times. Collectively, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless your entire church and its leaders at this time. Amen. Thank you for spending this hour with us. It's so good when God's people get together and we are able to, to pray together, to rejoice together. We know that God is in control. I want to share two more scripture texts and a prayer with you before we go. First one is taken from Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. And in Philippians, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Again, this morning, or this evening, wherever you are, if you have any prayer requests that you want, send it off to us, will you, at sabarry at telezon.ca, and we will certainly will pray for you. We'll put it across the network so that you will be prayed for over and over again. I want to close with this prayer, again, taken from the web, and it says this, God you alone are worthy of honor, glory, and praise. With you, we can overcome every storm, including the, uh, the impact of the global pandemic, COVID-19. Right now, God, we ask you to heal those who are sick and protect those who are not. Give our leaders extra wisdom as they navigate this pandemic and economic uncertainty. Strengthen your global church. Reveal how we can partner together to reach the needs of those around us. Father, calm our fears. Fill us with your hope, joy, and peace as we continue to trust in you. Use this pandemic to pave the way for spiritual renewal. We want your glory, power, and healing to be on display. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen.